Good morning. Tziyayim b'mishpati pade v'shaver b'tzdaka. This is connected to us as a neshama beguf, a soul and a body. Once the neshama comes down in a body, it's already in exile within us. And the whole purpose of it is to make a Yerida Tzorech Aliyah. That the, it comes down our body and it does what it's supposed to do. Not only that the soul does what it's supposed to do, but the body should listen to the godly soul. That is what is needed. And if that happens, the neshama has an aliyah, it goes higher than where it came from. So even though the neshama came, as we say every single morning, neshama shenesata bi tahirahi. That the soul that you gave me is pure. So, where is it coming from after, uh, afterwards? Well, it goes into a much, much higher level than Tahiru Ilah, the level of Tahiru Ilah. Now, how do we accomplish this idea? How do we accomplish an aliyah and the neshama? We're not talking about an aliyah and the neshama. That when, that when it comes to your side of a person, you say you should have aliyah and neshama, elevation of the soul. But the neshama, the kids, gets more powerful and gets more kedusha until the yechida the level of the neshama which is above the body comes into through your body that your body gets infused with yechida. And what is yechida? That it's one with God. So we say, V'ahoyu advarim asher anoichi mitzavacha hayoyim. These are the words that I'm t commanding you, Anoichi, Misha, Anoichi. Anoichi means not the level of Ani or Hinini. Anoichi. We do know that Anoichi represents only God Himself, the essence of God. Shmuel said, Anoichi Haroya, he was punished for it. Because there's only one Anoichi. Hashem alikecha shetisicha me'eretz mitzrayim. Anoichi shetisicha me'eretz mitzrayim. This is anoichi that God created the world with. So it says, "Vahayu advarim ha'ela shanoichi mitzavacha hayoyim." Today. You have to have the words of the Torah as if it's given today. Today we were given the Torah. We say every morning, Baruch Atah Hashem, Noisein HaTorah. He gives the Torah. Every single day you have to look at the Torah as it is a new Torah. And also our soul. Our soul is new every single day. It gets returned to us refreshed as new. So it has to be as if it was given today, Kechadoshim, Mamosh. In actuality, it has to be new, that you're learning it as if it's a new thing, with the greatest excitement. So if it's kachadoshim mamish like new in actuality, you should have said chadoshim, 
not like as if it's new, but it is new. Mamish. So kachadoshim is the idea of iskafia. You're not holding by his hapcha yet. You're iskafia. That your your animal soul is awake and working. So what do you have to do? You have to bend that, bend it over. Today I am not going to listen to you. Sure, I have to do this, I have to do that. We will wait. And if you wait long enough, maybe I won't even listen to you later on either. But you have to wait. That's kachadosh imamish. You look at Teda as if it's new. Chadashim mamish is this hapcha. Like it says, like David Amach said, Velibi cholo bikirbi. My heart is empty within me. He does not have a nefesh of Bahamas. He doesn't have a yitzara. That is this hapcha. And that's chadashim mamish. How do we get to it? Is from Shema Yisrael Hashem Alekeinu Hashem Echad. Shema means he's gathering. Like it says, Vayishma Shloime, that he gathered everyone. What do we have to do? We have to gather all our desires and excitement, all the nitsutsis which we have to refine and everything else. And we have to know Hashem Melekeinu Hashem Echad. That what the Ches and the Dalid, which what is Ches? Seven heavens and one earth, and Dalid is the four corners of the world. Are what? are one with God. They are nullified to the one, to the Aleph. And then you see there's nothing in the world. There's nothing in the world that will deter godliness. And Hashem is in the world before before the world was created and after the world created, there's no change. And that's how we can have our soul pure and, and, and be the ruler in our system. By saying Shema properly, knowing that Hashem Alekeinu Hashem Echad, Rashi says on it, Hashem Alekeinu is now, when Mashiach comes, will be Hashem Echad. But we have to know that that's the way we can have a normal day by saying Shema Yisrael Hashem Alekeinu Hashem Echad. Now, there, are, there is Tiyon B'mishpatim Pada V'shavah B'tzdaka. Tiyon is B'mishpatim Pada. Vishaveha bitzdaka. That mishpat is teira halacha. That tzion will be redeemed. Vishaveha, the captives, you can only give back, you can only take them by tzdaka. By giving tzdaka. So now we can, uh, excuse me. So now we can understand why. We need to increase in halacha and tzedakah. So according to the Atarebbe and the Tzemach Tzedek, they hold the Mishpati Pad is greater. The Ariza Al-Achai, which is Yemei Lula Srei Hei Menachem Av, he says, Shabbat B'tzedakah is greater. Why Shavab's duck is greater? 
Because he's the person was carrying captive in with within his body, he's in captivity. The Mishpati Pada it's only to be redeemed. Maybe he's an Evid, he has to be redeemed. An Evid has his own Mitzvah also. It's battle, but it's a Mitzvah. But, but the Shavar is captive, so Tzedakah is greater. But we can look at it another way, is see be Mishpati Pada. It's in a much higher level, right? Because he's not in captivity within his Yetzirah. So we can understand as follows. That towards the end, we mask him with the, with the, with the Arizal. The idea is as follows. That the Veshavah bits Daka, he goes back to where he came from and even higher. Tzedakah beforehand makes sure you dive in properly. So that has to do with fila. Tzedakah, stam, regular tzedakah. It's also a mitzvah. But according to Taylor, you don't have to look for a, 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 a someone that needs to have tzedakah. You don't have to go out of your way to find someone that needs tzedakah. That means if you live in a in a uh, in a uh, well-to-do area, you're gonna have to go travel somewhere to get tzedakah. You don't have to. So now we have emails and everything else. So uh, there's no further way begashmius. Text, WhatsApp. There's all these things that uh, is very close to you, but uh, who says you have to give everyone? The idea is that we know that is a, a, a trait of Yidin, is to give tzedakah and have Avas Yisrael. And what is that? We see that with Avram Avinu. Avram Avinu had his bismillah at 99 years old. By the third day the bismillah hurts terribly. He goes out and searches for guests. So he was then zeichet to Kabbalah Sashchina to go visit him. But he wanted guests. He searched for guests. Hashem also did a kindness to us. God wanted to do kindness. But how, what kind of kindness can there be if there's no one to do kindness with you, with him? You can't do kindness. You could have a, an attribute or you can think about doing chesed. But you need someone to do kindness to. So he created a world for that. And that world he gave, he sustained the world with chesed. For the for who knows how many generations, and then he wants our avoda, but we say ki rachamov. He does not end off his rachamim to us, his passion towards us ever. Ki chasadov. So therefore, we know. That the uh, Abishai gives us kindness all the time. And that's what the Bashaptiv said also. The Bashaptiv said you have to do a favor for a Jew which you never saw in your life. That's how far distant you are from him. You didn't see him on any social media either. You haven't seen him ever. That's who you do kindness to. So Baz Hashem. And that is, you reach a much higher level. And that's what everyone agrees. 
And that's our Vedu for nowadays is Tiyan Bi Mishpati Padem Shavar Bitsdaka. So even though we might have been sold, but learn Chasidis and you'll be unsold. You might be in captivity. Why? Because you did. Who knows how many times wrong? And I'm in captive by Yitzhahara, what can I do? Give tzedakah. Tzedakah tatsu mi maves. And tzedakah mikadev sagula. Tzedakah charity saves you from death. And Tzedakah and tzedakah also charity brings close to the redemption. So that Hashem's help will get out of this Golos, take it from Yad Mamash now, and this Shabbos Chazoin will be a Vayachulu, will be a completion of the Yamtiv of Hey Menachem of that we had the revelation of Mashiach today. And Shabbos will be a Vayachulu the completion, elevation of the Gula Amitis Vashlema and the Binim Beis HaMikdash HaShlishi take it from Yad Mamish now Hey Menachem of Hey Tav Shin Pei Beis 5782 Long live our Master, Teacher and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever Long live our Master, Teacher and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever Long live our Master, Teacher and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever, Long live our Master,